Shalom and welcome to all of you. We are the Hebrew Sisters, and we have a fabulous subject, a question that we're going to ask and do our best to answer today. That question is, did Yeshua start the religion of Christianity? Woo, well, Christians know him as Jesus, but his real name, his Hebrew name, what he was called in first century Israel as he was living his life on earth during that time was Yeshua, Y-E-S-H-U-A. By the way, that name means salvation. And so this one who was and is salvation, known by his very name, the question is, did he begin the religion known as Christianity? Well, <laughs> let's just answer that. Let's just get it over with. That's let's right. just go there. <laughs> the answer to that is no. <laughs> Yeshua <laughs> came to earth to draw us into relationship with, with his father. He came to pay the penalty for our sin, but he did not create a religious system. Man did. That's right. And so there was a religion that was uh, prevalent in Israel during the days when Yeshua was on earth. That religion was a form of Judaism. It was Judaism, but the Judaism we have today is quite different from the Judaism of first century. Yeshua visited the synagogues, but he did not participate as an ongoing lifestyle, the religious system of Judaism. And Christianity began three over 300 years after Yeshua rose from the dead. That's right. It was started by a man named mm -hmm. Constantine between the years of 323 to 330 A.D., so what was the religion? What was the religion of Yeshua? Well, that just is it. He came to take us out of religious systems that were created by man. And although they have some wonderful, beautiful things, Christianity has wonderful, beautiful teachings in it. And uh, most Christians love the Lord and love the Word of God. Judaism has beautiful, meaningful ceremony and teachings. And rabbis love Yahweh. But Yeshua came to bring us into the more. And he called his disciples out of the religious systems of the day. He called us to himself. I think it's important we understand that most believers today uh, do not understand the historical piece of how Christianity really began. They probably are taught or have learned somewhere along the line in their journey or in your journey that Acts chapter 2 began what we know as the church today, as well as it mentions in the book of Acts in the New Testament that they were first called Christians in Antioch, which is where Paul was at. And yet we understand uh, in a historical sense, as well as a Hebrew sense, that being called a Christian in those days was a derogatory uh, uh, persecution from those who were, were um, mocking and making fun of the believers who really, it was called the way. They were known as people of the way in those days. And so I think it's important that we, we set some historical perspective for this, for, for Christians today, for believers today to understand historically the first 300 years of this uh, arising after Yeshua ascended and the disciples went out to spread the good news, the gospel to the uttermost parts of the earth, they were never called Christians except in a derogatory sense. They always celebrated the feasts of the Lord. They Sabbath. That they celebrated Sabbath. 
and they did not have what we call a New Testament scripture. Well, it had yet to be really codified and written down. The scriptures in the New Testament were written a number of years after the Lord rose from the dead. And although we had some of the early earliest manuscripts mm -hmm. with recorded words of the Lord, the point was this. Yeshua wasn't trying to create a religion. Right. He was calling us out of organized religion that we would come together as a community and find our way to walk with the Lord. He meant for us as individuals to be empowered to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength and to love one another as we love ourselves. That very first community, you know, we teach a lot about this in yes. our school that's called Hebrew Scrolls Academy. That first group of believers. So what did they do and what were they called? You said it. They were called Haderech, the way. They met together and they met and they had spontaneous worship. They met every morning, actually. Mm -hmm. They took uh, communion together. They sang together and they loved the Lord. But they knew that each of them had a responsibility to develop their own walk with the Lord. Organized religion has done its best to help us. Mm -hmm. It's done its best to lead us in a good way, in a right way. And there's so many religious leaders, both rabbis and pastors and lay professionals who uh, love people and, and love the Lord and do their best to teach us. And they are there as helpers. Mm -hmm. They are there as supports. Right. But King David said it best when he said, mm, of all the shepherds that are available, the Lord is my shepherd. And that's why King David, the next line in Psalm 23 says, and I have no defects. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a very loaded topic. Did Yeshua start a new religion? Absolutely not. He came to show us what it meant to walk with his father. Not that we would take some human and put a human there and allow only a human or the system to tell us what the word says, to tell us how to walk with Yahweh. He came to free us from all things that bound us. It was for freedom that Messiah Yeshua has set us free, that we should not be subject again to the yoke of slavery or the yoke of bondage. We shouldn't be in a place of being dependent upon what we're told we are to believe. It's supposed to be, and this is what Yeshua did. This is why he did not create a religion. He wanted to free us from those constraints so that each of us would be empowered ourselves to have our own beautiful, vibrant, ongoing, developing walk with Yahweh. And then we would come together to share that equally as equal value, no hierarchy systems there, right. to share that equally, one with the other. I think it's important, too, and you touched on this, Shana, that the times that they would meet, which were on Shabbat, a Saturday, the seventh day, and they were resting, they would come together and do things spontaneously. They would one would bring forth a scripture or perhaps a word. Yes. And then another would burst out into song or somebody would say, well, that's what this is meaning to me. And this, again, the scripture that they were discussing was the Torah portion for that particular week or one of the books from what we call the Old Testament. And so the services were this that if it were a group of 10, 12, 15 people, everyone participated. Oh, come on with everyone that. Everyone brought their gifting, they put it on the table, and they had a banquet or a feast or a meal together over what everyone was bringing forth. And everyone went home feeling loved, cared about, valued, and heard. They were affirmed in their faith. Yeah. which is what Yeshua designed and hoped and longed for, for you and I.
Well, I hope this has been helpful to you. It may have raised a lot of questions. Please look at our format for our school. You'll see it listed there, Hebrew Scrolls Academy. We talk about this. I go into extensive teachings about what was that first community, that first church, the church on Mount Zion, Haderich. What was that group really like? What all did they do? And you can learn so much about it there. But for now, we want to say thank you for joining with us. We so appreciate you. We look forward to seeing you next week. And for now, we are the Hebrew Sisters. Sisters.